everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you can hear me all right. The house next door are getting a new kitchen or bathroom or walls, I don't know. But it's bang, 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 banging all day. I've been waiting to make this video all day, but it looks like they're not gonna be stopping. So if you hear the banging, that's what it is. So this is just gonna be a what sold on eBay video. And I'll just show you, I've taken screenshots of all the sales because when I try and load them up, and show my screen it just crashes out if I like just try and show more than 10 so I'm just going to show some random sales over December and over Christmas I'm not going to show you every single sale because it'll be there's some that are like really boring you know I sell a lot of samey things like a lot of the skirts are the same I'll just so I've just picked out some of the some of the better ones or some of the more interesting ones and also some that just give like an overall idea of the kinds of stuff that I sell. So December was really, really good for me, which I was surprised about because I did not do half as much work as I usually do. Uh, I did in October or November, but I think that was because I did all that work in October and November. So December was good because of that. But I think probably I might suffer for that in January, but we'll see. But yeah, over Christmas was really good. And some of these things, I'm sure I've shown them before. But I looked back on my last sales video and it said it was like October, but I'm sure I've sold, I've shown you some of these things. So if I have somewhere in some video, I apologise, but I did try and have a look. But if I have shown some of them before, I'm sorry. And also eBay's been doing some really weird things for me as well, which I'll show you. And let me know if anyone else has been experiencing anything similar because it's, it's a bit weird. I don't know if it's because of Brexit and everything has affected uh, sales and international sales I really don't know so if anyone could like tell me that would be helpful because on some of the sales that I'll show you the prices are not right on what it what it says like they're not they're not what I sold it for and the postage as well really weird I don't know if it's just like a glitch thing or whatever I just picked a random day which was oh these uh, I've shown you them before, I got them a while ago from wholesaleclearance.co.uk They're just uh, PlayStation 4 bags And I've sold 9 of them, I have 14 left They've been starting to sell, they've definitely sold more regular Of course over Christmas and after Christmas as well, so that's been good So they're just slowly, slowly ticking away This was a lovely coat, see I'm sure I've shown this before oh, But look it says 41 .99. I didn't sell it for 41 .99. I sold it for 35 or 38 it was 38 and it says like it says the postage was 348 but it wasn't the postage was 290 so I don't know what that's all about but anyway it was a really nice coat I got this uh, it was part of the bundle that I got from bulk in I want to say September or October I got a lot of coats and this was one of them and it was lovely there's another one where the prices don't add up I didn't sell it for 1920 I sold it for 18 pound <clears throat> and the postage, I didn't sell it for 348 I sold it for 290 So I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, I was surprised I wanted to show this skirt because it was kind of something that you wouldn't think, you maybe wouldn't think would sell because when it wasn't on the mannequin and before it was steamed and everything, it didn't look great and it was handmade and it really didn't look like it would be worth anything. I sold it for 18 in the end, but still £18 and the skirts cost me, it was around about, a pound each I think from that bundle I usually buy them when they have a sale on because if you buy them without it's about two to three pounds each but when they have the sale on it works out about a pound a skirt so a pound into 18 I'm happy with that another one of the coats I did sell this for 30 another one from bulk I know I've, I've spoke to a few people about bulk who haven't been happy with their orders which is a shame and I know buying buying like the 45 kilogram bundles it's always like a hit and miss a risk is what it is because you don't know what's in it and you are always going to get a percentage of it that it's probably no good i mean the last order that i got from bulk just a few weeks ago there wasn't one item that had a hole in or was anything wrong with it it was like the perfect bundle but that's the first time i've had a perfect bundle like that that's not going to be every time you know there's always going to be a few that are not great you'll see some but even the things that aren't great, you can still sell, which I've shown in these, actually. Some of the coats, you know, they've got buttons missing. There's a few things wrong with them. But they still sell if you try. But yeah, I don't know if I've just been really lucky with them or what. I don't know. But I really like them. 
maybe because I go into it expecting a percentage to be thrown away. You know, you're not going to get, you can't go into it buying something for a pound or two pound each and expect every item to be at a sell for, you know, ten pound profit each or else everyone will be doing it. You know, it's, it's not that easy. But yeah, 30 quid for that one. Uh, another one with the weird prices, 17.28. I didn't sell it for that. I saw it for 16 pounds and 2.90 postage. It was just a Jack Wills dress. It was pretty, but it was small. It was UK six. So it would have been a bit better, I think, if it was a bit bigger. I was surprised at this one. I did sell this for 24, but not 3.48 postage. So I don't know what, what, why. Uh, this was just one of the coats from Bulk as well. I didn't think this would be like a good seller or anything. Um, it's not anything special, but I'd get £24 for it. Oh, it was um, feather filled, so that might be why. See, I'm pretty sure I've shown this before. This was from... God, I'm losing track now. Uh, not Eurolapse, the other one. Brit Deals. Yeah, Brit Deals. Uh, I can't remember how much this was in the box, but I've sh it's in my other video. But yeah, this sold really, really quick for £49.99. Could have got more for it, like I've said. But it went really quick, so I was happy. This was a really good one. This was in a bundle of clothes I got, I don't even know from where, I think it was from a girl on Instagram, I'm not 100%, but um, it was not branded or anything. I think it had a label in at some point, but it had been delabeled, so it wasn't like branded or anything, there was nothing special about it, and I still got £24 for it, so happy. This, these are a bit of a fail, I bought two of these, a bit of retail arbitrage, they cost me they cost me about £6 each on this clearance, on clearance, and I've only sold one. I thought I'd be able to sell them pretty easy at Christmas time, but it turns out, no, they are the smaller one, though, 10 inch. You can get a bigger one, so I'm guessing the bigger ones will be better. There's another one, no, one of the denim jackets, this one. This was a really cool denim jacket, and I'm glad this is sold because it's so cool, and the pictures are really rubbish because <laughs> it is really cool in real life. I don't think I sold it for £57.60. I think I sold it for 50 so I don't know why it's saying that. It's saying that I had it on for 72 when I didn't. Well, this was just to show another example of one of the vintage skirts, not branded or anything like that. Again, the prices look weird. The postage was 2 90 and I sold it for £16. No, £17. 16 or 17 I think 17 actually. It was a nice skirt. When you get it for a pound, sell it for that price. Yeah, happy with that. This, I've had this coat for a while, so I was glad to see the back of it, really, because it's quite big. I got this one on a blue one, it was ages ago, and I thought they'd sell really, really well. But it just shows I don't know anything about clothes, even though I sell clothes online. <laughs> I'm getting a bit better now, though, I think. Uh, well, my stuff seems to be selling a bit more, like the stuff that I get now seems to sell a bit faster, so it shows that I'm getting a bit better. My average selling price as well has gone up to £17, which is awesome. I want to get it up to 20 but £17, I'm way happy with that. Yeah, I, I didn't sell this for 26 88 either. I think it's like for 25 This is a good example of something that wasn't perfect. Now, obviously, it was a good coat, brand new, but this was not brand new, and it had buttons missing, which, of course, I declared. I think it had, like, a button missing at the front and, like, a little rip, uh, but it still went for good money. That was another one from the bulk bundle, so this would have cost me around £2. Another one of the skirts. I have so many tartan skirts. They've all gone for about 20 quid. cost me a pound each from bulk. Uh, this one went pretty quick. I sold it really cheap, actually. 14 99 for a Wrangler one. I think this was from Bolt, I think. I'm not sure. One of them. Little DVD sale. Sean T. Hip Hop Abs. 11 99 it's a good price for a DVD. Some fat face jeans, nothing special, but £16. This one might surprise some people. I sold it for £18. It was just a Per Una cardigan, and it did take a while to sell. Of course, it was at that price, uh, but it just shows that if you just hold out a little bit, you can get good prices for very common items. The items that I pick up and sell are really common. You know, you can find these things anywhere. That's why I wanted to add them into this video, just to show, like, per una cardigan. You could find that at any charity shop that you went to for, like, a pound and to sell it for 18. If you want to hold on to it for a little bit, I mean, I listed it in June, so June, July, August, September, October, November. So six months it took to sell, but I'm fine with that. Another Geox coat that I got from Bulk in that same coat bundle. 
$29.99. These I've, I've sold all of these now from wholesaleclearance.co.uk. Them little voice recorder dictaphone things, and I had the pens with the cameras in. So they've all sold now. Denim jackets have started selling. Very happy about that. Uh, they have been slow but steady. And yeah, this one went for £28. Another one I wanted to add in there just to show, you know, it's nothing special. Sainsbury's pants. Uh, but I got £14.40 for them. I get I pick any of them up, you know, like any cargo, khaki type ones, like that colour. I always pick them up, even if they're just from Sainsbury's, because you can sell them. This was a nice cackerel, cackerel skirt, £20, another one from Bulk. Again, I just wanted to add this in to show it's just a top uh, top shop skirt. I did sell this for 10 not 12 I took an offer for 10 But this was in a bundle that I got ages ago of skirts uh, that were just all like denim skirts like this, and there was loads of them. And I think they cost me about a pound each, so they're still selling. Uh, these sold really quick. Again, I didn't sell them for £21.60, I sold them for 20 these remind me of jeans that I totally would have worn back in my younger days. <laughs> Another one I just wanted to add in, just a F and F cardigan. When it wasn't on the mannequin, it didn't look, it didn't look so great. But I could just tell it, it would look nice when it was all steamed and everything. Yeah, and that went for it wasn't sixteen eighty. I think it was a fifteen, maybe even fourteen. This was an awesome jacket. See, but I'm sure I've shown you this. I'm sure I have because I remember talking about it. Uh, maybe I showed you it when I got it, I don't know, but another one from Bulk. Uh, this was from that bundle bundle that I got, I think, from that lady on Instagram. Uh, I think I took an offer of 16 for this one, just a warehouse top. These little gillet jackets, I got them with the Bulk um, coats. I really didn't think they would be worth anything because they're just... I just didn't think they would be worth anything, but they've all sold really well, actually. Most of them have gone abroad. See, I remember saying this before, but I don't think I've shown you these, but I remember saying it. Total deja vu. This one went really quick, very Christmassy, super dry jumper. Another one of the coats, £28. That was a really nice coat. I was going to keep it. Looked really, really nice on. Oh, yeah, this is another one that I got ages ago with the blue and the red uh, long wool coats. Winsmore wool cashmere blend. I think this cost me about a fiver, so that was cool. This one I definitely took an offer for 20 quid on this one actually. Just because it was just next and wasn't anything very special. All the coats cost me about a fiver. So five into 20, I'm still happy with men's fat face Christmas jumper, 20 quid. This Adidas one, see like look at that, no returns accepted. That's not true. And it doesn't even have um, the postage on there. So something's messed up with this. But anyway, I sold this really quick. Probably should have sold it for more. I think it's a bit rare. Like the colours are really different. Uh, but it went for 20. This was a lovely skirt. And I, I'm sure I've shown this skirt as well. I'm really sure I have. Because I remember tell, I remember saying that it's got red and blue going through it. Unless I just said that when I showed it in a video. I might have showed it. It was lovely. 25. Another skirt for 25. Another example of a coat with that button missing there. But it still went and got positive feedback for that. So as long as you declare it and make it make it really clear what's wrong with it, then there's no reason why you can't sell it. Uh, I had five of these. I actually got these. It, they were on sale in like August or something. So I thought, oh, I'll buy five and just see see if I can sell them at Christmas time. And they all sold. So yeah, don't forget in August if you see any gloves and stuff like that on sale, get them. They're definitely worth getting if you've got somewhere to put them. A uh, men's checked lumberjack shirt I put. That went really super quick for 20 quid. Another one of the skirts. That was a nice one. I've had that a while. Haven't I? No, I haven't. September. I feel like I've had them ages, but no, September. This is really nice and it sold super quick. Kind of wish I kept it. It was like near enough to the floor. Like it was really long and really, really warm. It cost me a fiver and I took an offer of 45 Another coat from the bulk lot. I was really glad about this one because I didn't think, I really didn't, I thought I'd be stuck with a few of these. You know, like that one, I thought I'd be stuck with it, but it went for 20. Yeah, that's when I put the sale on for 20% for 20 off. And a loads of the other stuff that I didn't think would sell started going like this skirt. I didn't think I'd, I didn't think this would go. 
I wasn't sure about it, but it went for 14 40 it would have cost me like a few pound at the most. Okay, these are cool. I got Funko Pops like ages ago. And this was when Umbrella Academy was new. Like it's really popular now. And because like season three's season two is out and season three is coming out. Yeah, and I got some of these really cheap. I kind of guessed it was going to be popular for Christmas. I bought a load of the Vanyas. I think I bought like seven of them or something. And one of them was this one, which at the time you could just buy on Amazon and then they sold out and you couldn't buy it anywhere. And they were going for a really, really like high prices um, everywhere. And I got 34 99 for it, which is awesome because it cost me a few pounds. Another one of the skirts, 14 Men's, I never know if, if, it's, if it's Woolwich or Woolrich. That make, that went quick from a 20% off sale. Adidas jacket, £20. It all them cost me a fiver, so that's, so I'm happy five into 20. I was happy with this as well, 34 99 for another one of them bulk coats. See, can you see why I love bulk so much? The majority of my stuff is the coats and the skirts. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, by the way. But you can see that most of my sales really are from bulk. There's another one from the newest skirt, skirts that I got that went really quick probably could have got more for that but yeah Levi's one another Vanya this was not the special edition one just the normal Vanya sold I listed three. Oh yeah because I put some in bundles so I had three on their own at £12 each another denim shirt I put them on 20% off so £22.40 for that one another one £24 this went really quick Tommy Hilfiger jumper I think that was from Vault Vintage. There's one of the bundles, which is awesome. 85 for that. Just a Christmas jumper, 1440. Disneyland, 1120. Another Umbrella Academy Funko Pop bundle. These I got in like the first bulk order, but I didn't list them until October. You know when you just put stuff off because you think it's gonna be awkward. Like I thought they'd be really awkward to photograph, which they were. I'm not gonna lie and they had holes in which i showed there but they still went for 35 they were very cool though a bench coat went really quick it cost me a fiver another one of the skirts from bulk and one that i really didn't think would sell and handmade and it was like who i can't imagine who's gonna wear it off off a wear but clearly people do i mean it was a lovely skirt and that it was so thick you know the wool was so thick and it was very well made uh, that went for 22 and the lady left i got positive feedback for that saying how unique it was because it really was another one of the bulk skirts 17 pounds another one of the bulk skirts this is one of the newer ones that was one of the nicer one one of the nicer ones actually that one fat face cardigan the men's cardigans like that sell really quick for me if you can if you can pick them up for under a fiver it's well worth it. One of the, <laughs> I've still got a load of random CDs, like the dregs left of a load of CDs that I bought last year. Uh, and this one went for 5 50 which I was really pleased with because it was only the disc. And it's, I don't even know who it is, so some random person. But yeah, it's worth listing just random CDs. This was such, such a nice skirt. Another one from Bulk, of course. You would think I'm spo sponsored by Bulk, wouldn't you? If you want to sponsor me, Bulk. I wouldn't say no. Nice Christmassy men's cardigan, 20 quid. This was nice, a white stuff cashmere. Don't I just say everything's nice? A white stuff cashmere jumper. I realise on this picture, it looks like it's dirty there, but if when you zoom, it's, it's not, it's just where it's like folded. I don't know if you can hear that drilling, but anyway, that's just where it's folded, yeah. But if I'd have got a better picture, maybe it would have sold quicker. Another one of them from Bulk, again, 20 quid. This sold straight away. The regatta coats, sometimes they can take a while to sell, but if you get um, size 20, ladies seem to go really quick, so I don't know if they're hard to find or something. But yeah, I took an offer of 20 anyway, but it only cost me £4. Oh, that lady bought that one and this one. This was another one from Bulk, again, 25. Very cool, very different. Another lumberjack style men's jacket 18 this coat i wish i'd have kept it was so nice i wore it once yeah but then i got an offer as i was out wearing it and i was like right shall i keep it but i have so many clothes now that it was just 
Christmas was coming up. So I just thought, yeah, okay, 25, because it cost me, I think it cost me five, maybe six DKNY. Maybe I spent six pound on it, but it was so, so nice. But I wish I'd have kept that. Another one that I didn't think I'd be able to sell, just because I don't think it looks that great, personally. That was another one from Bulk, by the way. This went super quick, and it was just a Sainsbury's dress. Another one that went super quick, Bowden one, but it was really thick and really nice actually. It went abroad somewhere. Men's Christmas jumper, 15. This is a lovely jumper. I was so gonna keep it myself. It was so Christmassy and so warm and fluffy. But someone sent me an offer, I think, of 28 and I was like, yeah. Yeah, another denim jacket, 30 pound. This I've had for ages, 22nd of June, it was listed. And look at the picture though. No wonder I've had it for ages. It's like the worst picture ever. You can't even see it. It's over 22. So God bless the person that bought that with that picture. Angora Kashmir. I don't even remember buying this. But there you go, £20 for that. Another one of the bulk skirts for £20, cost me a pound. Another one of the bulk skirts, £20, cost me a pound. That went really quick. I got that for £4 and that went for 20 Another one of the bulk skirts. I should just do a whole video about the bulk skirts because that's like all I sell at the minute. Another, and I got these from Bulk as well, if you haven't like watched any of my previous videos. I got the denim jackets from Bulk as well. They cost a lot more than the skirts though. And I thought this was really, really nice and really different. Like stripy cardigan, that cost me three pounds. That's all it for 20. Another one of the Bulk skirts. <laughs> I told you it was very samey. And I've left loads out as well because it's like really boring. Uh, jewel, this was a cool one, jewels. I've never sold a jewels thing before. But I see it all the time on Instagram, so that's why I got this. I got it for five pounds and sold for 25. A Bowden Gillet thing, it was like really padded and really chunky. 22 pounds. Another thing I thought I was going to struggle selling was this skirt, but I guess it's so it's size 32, new with tags. 15. Another one of the Adidas jackets, I got a few at the same time, about four or five each. That one for 25. This was probably my favourite skirt in my last bulk order. It was just so nice. I wish I could wear I could wear it, but I just I don't know like what you'd wear that with. I'm so bad at putting clothes together. I just wear jeans all the time. But I'd love to wear that. But like, what would you wear with it? What top would you wear with that? And what shoes? I don't know. Twenty five pounds for that. Oh yeah, and I just added this in <laughs> just to show. I think this was it's just a new look. A new look dress. Like when it was on a coat hanger, it did, it looked rubbish. I'll be honest, it did not look good. But when it's all nicely on a mannequin and stuff, it looks really nice. And it went for fifteen. And I literally think I got it. I don't know where it's from. It must have been a bundle somewhere. Uh, again, this didn't look great when it wasn't on a mannequin either. But that went for ten. And again, this didn't look like much either. But it went for fifteen. Oh, random. The Hobbit DVD and book bundle, $8.99. Another very similar dress, but a red one and a Zara one. Yay! Oh, I took an offer of 30 for this. I don't know why it said sold for 39 99 because it sold for 30 This cost me £3.50. Sold it for 20 and This one I've had ages. Uh, 22nd of June, this was listed. It had a button missing. My pictures were just awful back in June, clearly. Even the colour of it just looks really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks really off pink, but it was a nice. It was a nice pink in real life, but yeah, you could clearly tell where the bu button was missing. Um, but still got eighteen for that. Another one of the book skirts, eighteen. Another one of the book skirts, twenty. I don't know where this was from, but eighteen for that. Uh, I don't know where this was from either. I think about this a while. No, I haven't. It was listed in September, not that long then. Uh, 20 quid for that. I like this jacket. I was going to keep it. It was really different because this was like all sparkly. You can't really tell in this picture. But I went for 20 and it cost me five, I think. Four or five. Another one of the bulk skirts. Again, looked absolutely rubbish off the mannequin. And it, when it was all crumpled up and stuff in the bag, it pulled it out and it didn't look like anything good at all. You know, it wasn't, um, what do you call it? Like a make, like named, branded whatever you call it, but I think it looks really nice on there. Regatta coat, I've sold a load of regatta coats at the minute. 20 quid. Jack Wolfskin, I 
I can't remember where this was from either. I think this was in a bundle that cost me two pounds. <clears throat> no, everything was two pound. Another one from Bulk. This was a cool one. <clears throat> one of the CDs that I've got left. Eleven ninety nine plus two ninety shipping. So yeah, wrestling CDs definitely worth picking up if you see them for like cheap enough. Another one of the no, it's not. Where's this from? I think this is from Vault Vintage. No idea where this is from, but that wouldn't have cost me much. Monsoon cardigan. Alpaca cardigan. I love, love, love this coat. Um, it, It's gone and come back and gone again for 25. No, it went for 28, came back. And the lady said it had a scuff on the arm, um, which I took a really close-up picture of it. It wasn't much at all, but, you know. So I just brought it down to 25 and it's gone again. Another one from Bulk. <laughs> And this was nice. I, th I thought I was going to get more for this actually. It, it doesn't look as great in the photos as it did in real life. It looked really nice in real life. This was such a nice one. Bulk again of course. Cost me a pound. That just went today actually. And another DKNY jumper. £25. That went today. And I think that's... Oh and that went today. Yeah another regret regatta size 20. That went quick as well. Again listed on the 7th. And that is it. So if you've stuck it out with me this long, thank you very much for watching. I think these sales videos are really helpful for people just to see. Because I like watching them because we all sell different things. And I think I sell really common items. So these are all things you could be able to find in like any charity shop. Like the Sainsbury's and the new look and stuff like that. You can find it anywhere. But I'm going to go because my voice is totally going now. But thank you for watching if you stuck it out this long. I don't know what to say to you. You deserve a medal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.